I have to say, wow, I'm really impressed. I mean, I shouldn't be like surprised by it, but usually when I try a new material out, it's a rarity that I get great results like this right off the bat. Hi everyone, welcome to the Laser Channel where we learn, create, and share. My name is Greg, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a comparison engraving using the 40 watt blue laser diode module and a 2 watt IR laser module to engrave this black stainless steel tumbler cup. All this and more coming up in today's video. Let's get started by checking out the equipment I'll be using in today's video, starting with the laser machine. This is the X-Tool S1. As mentioned, it is running the powerful 40 watt laser module. The rotary chuck that I'm going to be using is the RA2, also by X-Tool. And in order to get this to fit inside of the S1, I do have the machine on the riser base. When I turn my attention to the coated stainless steel cup, this is going to have a black coating on it, and it's not that typical thick powder coating that we're used to working with. This is a very thin coating, very similar to that that we find on the black aluminum business cards. Now the really fun part about today's video is I didn't work ahead to find perfect settings. I only have this one cup, so we're going to be learning together what settings work and, well, maybe what settings don't work. With all of that covered, I'm ready to get everything set up inside of the machine and we'll meet up in the X-Tool Creative Space software and start running some engraving. Well, we're actually going to check out the setup inside of the machine first before moving on to the software. We can see that I've got the tumbler already attached up to the rotary chuck. And the first thing I like to check is to hand turn the rotary chuck. And I want to make sure that my tumbler is spinning straight and true and that it is not wobbling like it was put in crooked into the chuck. This looks good. And now the next thing I need to do is make sure that this surface is even or parallel with the laser module. For this, I'm going to grab the bubble level that comes with the RA2. I'm going to put that on top of the laser module to grab a level reference. And my table isn't quite level. The bubble crowds this line just a little bit. When I move the bubble level down to the work material, that's what I want to do is have that bubble crowd the line just like it did up here. Now, in order to get that level, I do have some blocks of wood that I put down here that I move back and forth to raise and lower this to get this perfectly leveled out. And the second to last thing I need to do is take a circumference measurement in the middle of the area that I'm going to be engraving, and I get about 240 millimeters. Of course, this is tapered, so depending on where I take the measurement and I get different results, I found my best practice to go in the middle of the area where I'll be engraving. And then lastly, I want to take the crosshairs and put it directly over the highest point of the work material. My best practice for this is actually to move it over to the side and find the drive shaft for the rotary chuck. That looks good. And I'm going to move the laser crosshairs to the topmost part of the tumbler that I want to engrave to. Now we're ready to go into the X-Tool Creative Space software. I'll start by changing laser flat to laser cylindrical. That'll tell the software that we're using a rotary chuck. Right now it's on roller, select chuck, and here's that 240 millimeters that I measured. And I'm now ready to set the focus. Next, I'll add some text and I'm going to put the 40W module here. And I'll move this down into position. Now, keeping in mind that I have this red cross here is the laser module at the top part of the cup. And I actually want the 40W to be at the top of the cup. I'll need to grab this and rotate it all the way around. And it's perfectly on that center line. I'm going to do a double check of the measurement to make sure that this uh, text is sized correctly for the size of the cup. 
I have the text size down to 80 millimeters wide. That's gonna fit very nicely on the tumbler. The material that I'm going to be looking for is something close to that black tumbler. I think black metal business card is gonna be perfect. I click back on my graphic. We wanna have that on the engraved setting. So 20% power, 375 millimeters per second. One pass with the lines per centimeter set at 200. I'm all set from here to hit the start button and we'll watch a little bit of this very first engraving. clean up with some denatured alcohol and let's check out this very first engraving and I have to say wow I'm really impressed I mean I shouldn't be like surprised by it but usually when I try a new material out it's a rarity that I get great results like this right off the bat it's really nice to know that the preset within the software did a great job on the stainless steel tumbler honestly I thought maybe a little too much power and I would start black marking the stainless steel underneath this thin coating, but this, I don't think I could have asked for better results. Next up, I'll replace the 40 watt blue laser module with the two watt IR module. All right, I have the IR module installed by the way, that took less than two minutes to install that, super easy to do. And I have the tumbler reattached to the chuck just in the same manner as when we saw in the beginning of the video. And I can turn my attention back into the Xtool creative space and put some more text in here. And this time I'm going to put in the IR, or actually how about the two watt IR? And once again, we're gonna flip this around so that the text, the starting of the 2W is at the very top of the cup. And I wanted to make sure that the width is under 80 millimeters. That looks good. That's perfectly centered up. When I click off to the side, we'll see that I still have the black material business card selected for the preset. I'll click on the graphic, switch over to engrave. And here we're going to see that we're at 20%. 375 speed at 200 lines per centimeter with the IR module. This all looks good. I'm ready to hit the start button. Same as before, I clean this up with some denatured alcohol. And this does look a little bit darker than with the 40 watt module. And I can see some lines through here. So I think what I'm going to do is reduce the power a little bit, and increase the lines per centimeter. The spot size of an IR module is much, much smaller, so it can achieve a lot of really great detail. So far though, I think this looks pretty good, but I'm gonna give it one more shot because I think we can make it look better. I have the text updated to say two watt IR low power, and here's the settings that I'm using, 15% power, the same speed as before, Lines per centimeter has been increased from 200 to 300. Let's see what these settings look like for the engraving. The lower power and the higher lines per centimeter, I think, look a lot better. The default settings that we started out with, they didn't look too bad, but I wanted a little bit more shine to that metal, and that's exactly what we got. Now this looks pretty similar to this. You decide. Let me know down in the comments which one you think looks better. Well, these are certainly some pretty encouraging results that we got on both of the laser modules. I think one of the key takeaways would be we're able to get some really great settings using the preset within the Xtool software. When I use the blue laser dial, the preset setting for that black business card gave me phenomenal results on the cup. However, when we switched over to the IR module, the first engraving that I got, while it looked okay, it wasn't great. And well, I've got some pretty high expectations out of Xtool machinery. So after taking a look at the results I got, 
made some minor adjustments, and then I got the results exactly what I was looking for. And by the way, if you're wondering why there's a piece of blue tape at the bottom of the cup, I simply used that to mark out the opposite end of where I did the first engraving. Now it's pretty neat that all of the text and everything turned out in the correct orientation. However, if you're struggling with your projects, I've got a tip that I can share with you and rather than practice with what might be an expensive tumbler, just trying to figure out the correct orientation of everything, I like to save an old jam jar and I take some blue painter's tape and I wrap it around that jar and I use some relatively low power levels just to scorch or etch just the tape. This way I can keep practicing my rotary setup, measuring the diameter or the circumference and making sure that my graphics are orientated correctly so that they show up the way that I want them to on my material. Definitely some pretty cool results in today's video. If you enjoyed this content, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, or ring that notification bell. Not only is it a great way to help the laser channel grow, it's an awesome way to connect video content like this with other great viewers just like you. Well, until we meet again in the next video, learn, create, and share.